What's up guys, Jeff Cavalier, Athletics.com. Today I'm gonna to show you something you can do between every single set, no matter what you're training for, to get better results from your workouts. And there's one thing we know that we all have to do regardless of what we're training for, and that is we're gonna rest between the exercises in our workout, right? And it's gonna vary, and that is, for strength, it depends on what study you've read these days, but you're resting either between three to five minutes to optimize your output. Realizing that the bigger compound lifts when you're training for strength are gonna require a higher effort level, we are gonna require better recovery, so you're gonna rest longer. Some people will say even as high as seven to eight minutes between efforts in order to maximize your output. And, and, I, and I've actually witnessed that firsthand myself as I'm sure you have. And some people who do competitive Olympic weightlifting will actually wait between sets of a power clean eight to 10 minutes because of the precision required to get that right, but there's variability, okay? And that's an important point to point out. Hypertrophy, on the other hand, if you're looking to just grow muscle, regardless of what is happening to your strength levels, is gonna have different recommendations. You've probably seen recommendations of 60 to 90 seconds, or a little bit longer, two to three minutes, and that's the difference between the exercise you're performing. Even if you're using a barbell row for hypertrophy, that's gonna have a different impact than let's say a one arm dumbbell row in terms of the overall impact on your recovery and your ability to come back and perform the next set. So the rest times might vary depending upon the exercise itself. And then some will even say something as short as 30 to 60 seconds. And before you throw that recommendation out, you have to realize that hypertrophy can also come through different mechanisms. And we know that utilizing metabolic fatigue using higher rep totals, like 20 reps, and resting just 30 seconds in between sets can create an incredible demand on your metabolic fatigue and stress, which will give you another form of hypertrophy. So there are variations in what this recommendation is, depending upon, again, what you're training for. And on the other side here, we have conditioning. And whether or not you're performing exercises in a hip fashion, or whether you're lifting a barbell in a complex, or whether you're just doing a circuit here, Again, rest times are going to be different. 15 to 30 seconds between completed rounds of a circuit or a hit workout. Transition rest only between the exercises itself, right? Instead of just the end of those circuits, what's happening between the exercises. Or let's say 60 seconds max at the end of a complex. So we, we define the fact that everybody's resting, but the one thing that you need to do, regardless of who you're listening to and what recommendation it is that you're gonna follow, you better be doing this. You better be timing your workouts. Right? We have our timer app on our phone, it's free. And if you utilize your timer app, you'll have a precision to what it is that you're trying to follow here. Because if there's one variable that gets overlooked more than any others, it's time. We track how much weight we're using, we track the number of sets we're performing, we track what, wind, you know, what direction the wind is blowing in, you know, and the humidity in the room. We have everything written down in our journals, but we don't talk about our rest periods. And what I want you to do is, at least when you're starting out, or at least if you haven't done it in a while, just to make sure you remain focused on what you're trying to do, start timing your rest periods and do that every single set. Now what happens here, there is variation within a workout. If I have, let's say I'm following a four minute recommendation for strength. If I follow four minutes and I time my four minutes, but I realize that at the end of the four minutes as the workout goes on, I'm not recovering enough to give a good effort in the pursuit of new strength, then I'm gonna expand that. It's not supposed to be a fixed level, but you have to be cognizant of where you're heading. It's too easy for us to jump on Instagram and just become so distracted that four minutes turns into seven. And if you were following this protocol, it would actually be detrimental to your overall progress. Now, I'm not actually against the use of Instagram in between sets, because it is gonna be a long period of time here, but utilizing the timer app is something that actually keeps you honest. And it's incredibly important, again, because as a variable in terms of your overall progress, your time between sets matters, and it matters a lot. So my recommendation is, let's say you're training for hypertrophy, and you're going into the two to three minute range, let's say, because you're using a bigger, more compound lift for hypertrophy. If that's the case there, you have either two choices. Set the app for two minutes, sort of the minimum time frame, then you determine when it goes off whether you need a little bit more, or you set it for the maximum time frame, and if you feel ready prior to the time the alarm goes off, you just jump back into the exercise, right? But you're going based on feel, and that's gonna change as the workout proceeds because of your overall cumulative fatigue and whatever exercise it is that you're performing. But do me a favor, from now on guys, make sure you time what you're doing because it matters. It is just as important as all the other variables in your workouts, and it's the one that's most likely being overlooked right now. If you're looking for workouts, guys, where all the variables matter, we lay them all out step by step for you. They're all of our Athletics programs. In the meantime, if you found the video helpful, leave your comments and thumbs up below. Let me know what I'm going to cover. I'll do my best to do that for you. And if you haven't already done so, guys, make sure you click subscribe and turn on your notifications so you never miss a new video when we put one out. See you soon.